Hi guys, welcome to another live trading session with Optionables. I am Saket and today we are going to take a look at the trades taken on 3rd and 4th of May and review them. So first of all, before starting off with the video, I would like to tell a couple of things. One, stay home and stay safe because it is really important for us to make sure that we come out of this um, situation with taking proper precautions. So if you are a market trader, then it is definitely important for you to stay safe because going out unnecessarily is neither good for you nor good for the markets because if you go out and if you become the cause for spread then the markets are uh, markets is also going to react and come down so please make sure that you maintain proper social distancing and meanwhile you also wash your hands and use a face mask and coming to the trade uh, so the video recording of the trades weren't possible for the last two days because we were testing out algos so that's the reason uh, we actually couldn't record the trades, but I have the end screenshots of M2M, uh, which I'll be posting. So uh, we will be discussing what exactly happened on Monday as well as Tuesday. So on Monday, uh, till almost uh, two o'clock, we saw some uh, strong profit booking or selling happening actually. So uh, Bank Nifty actually came down all the way from 33,000 on Friday to almost uh, 32,000 below 32,000 on Monday. So but later session we witnessed strong buying coming in post 2 o'clock. So we saw that market recovered almost 500 points post 2 o'clock. Around 1.30 uh, Kotak Bank results came and it was disappointing and Kotak Bank fell around 3% which further pushed the bank nifty and we saw some strong buying coming in during the last session. But on Tuesday the situation was completely opposite. So we saw some, uh, saw some strong buying initially itself. So during the day from almost 9.30 to 1 o'clock we witnessed very strong buying in Bank Nifty and it was trying to break 33,000. It touched 33,000 couple of times and also was trying to break 33,000. But then we saw some very strong profit booking coming in. Bank Nifty in the last two hours fell as much as 800 points. And uh, that is something you can now uh, pretty easily expect from Bank Nifty because it has been extremely volatile in the past couple of days, for a couple of months actually, not even days. Yeah, before starting off with the actual trade, uh, what I would like to tell is uh, today we couldn't shoot, today as well as yesterday, we couldn't shoot the video. Uh, we did shoot the video, but there was a lot of disturbance because in middle we had to test out few things. So we were just uh, shifting between windows. In the video, there was a lot of disturbance in the video because we were shifting tabs. And uh, obviously, if we keep doing that, you can't see the trade happening properly. And uh, that's the reason we decided not to post the video. But instead, we will be posting the screenshots of M2M towards the end of the day. So we will take the screenshot and we will post that. And uh, yeah, so we'll begin with the trade review right away. So now uh, we will discuss what exactly happened to the trades. So the first trade uh, on Monday, so Monday we also entered a, a 10 o'clock trade uh, because it had been quite a while since we actually entered a 10 o'clock trade. So we did enter a 10 o'clock trade. And um, as you know, uh, there was a big V-shaped move and which means we would have definitely uh, gone in loss. So markets actually fell quite a lot. And then uh, we were actually more or less uh, coming to profits but later uh, it completely recovered and we did actually come out of the position midway otherwise the loss would have been even worse. So we ended up losing almost 1.75 lakhs in the trade taken on Monday. And in that uh, 60,000 uh, was a 60, loss of 60,000 was due to uh, error which was caused by me. So what exactly I did was instead of shorting 30 to 300 calls and puts, I ended up shorting 33,300 calls and puts. And this was a huge problem because 33,300 was trading at 1,200 rupees and uh, it had absolutely no liquidity. So 33,300 puts, uh, it was trading around 1,180 to 1,200 with zero liquidity. And when I shot the order, it got cleared almost 20 to 30 points on the lower side. And when I had to cover it back, again, it got pushed around 20 to 30 points on the higher side. And during this, as soon as I shorted, the market also fell, which 
further gave me some more losses. So because of the small uh, manual error which I caused, it costed us almost 60 to 70,000 loss just because instead of 32,300, I shorted 33,300 puts. One, if it was a small quantity of uh, 2550, there might have been enough liquidity for me to cover up within a slippage of 10 to 15 points. But uh, since it was huge quantity, uh, there was no way I could cover up without causing a huge slippage. So with that, we lost around 170,000 on Monday. And Tuesday, that is today, uh, we, did, uh, we did not enter 10 o'clock trade. We decided to just go for afternoon session trade itself. And uh, afternoon session would have given us brilliant profits. But yeah, we, unless we decided, decided not to book it soon, which we did. So as soon as it gave around uh, 60, 70,000, we decided to book the profits. And afterwards, uh, what happened was we booked the profits and created a new short straddle. And in case if we hadn't done that, uh, the profits would have pretty much gone to two, two and a half lakh quite easily. So it was a complete one sided move, absolutely nothing to stop it. And easily the profits would have shot up to more than uh, quite easily two to two and a half lakhs. But uh, we decided to book it. Also, later we entered a new short straddle, which didn't actually give us anything. So more or less, we booked with around 60, 70K, 70 to 75K. So that was the profit what we booked uh, on Tuesday. So overall, uh, we ended uh, the first two days of May month with a loss of 1,70,000 and a profit of 70,000, uh, which amounted to a total of uh, 1 lakh loss. So the 1 lakh is the net loss in two days. Uh, so we will see how the trading will go on Wednesday as well as Thursday. So one thing I would like to tell is uh, we couldn't shoot the video today. So hence I am just putting the screenshots of both the days uh, due to uh, so some reason. And finally, if you're liking the content, please do subscribe to our channel, like the video. And uh, we have also put down links to Telegram, Instagram and Twitter down below. Uh, please make sure that uh, you find them and join and follow us on the respective platforms as well. Thank you so much for joining. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Thank you.